Hey Gemini, happy birthday, by the way. Uh, so this is going to be a June reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and a rising. I'm rising, okay? So you guys are the first ones, actually, and we're changing the routine, all right? I'm not uploading any more, you know, earth, air, fire, water. I'm going to be doing it in the proper order because my OCD just called. All right, Gemini, let's take a look here. What's going on with your June Terrascope? Let's see first the energy that's coming in. We have the Ten of Pentacles, nice. The Sun, not too many, too many. The World Cards, and we have the Ace of Cups. Wow, okay, we have Two of Cups. Some of you guys have partnered up with somebody. All right, this could have been a new relationship. Because with the world card, I get an indicator. Okay, let's do it like, no, it's not gonna work. Okay, here, here, it doesn't matter, fuck it. So we have 10 of pentacles, all right? This is your energy right now. I'm seeing you either with the finances or emotionally. You're very grounded, very abundant energy is what I'm picking up on. If you didn't get this already, it's coming in, all right? In form of a long-term commitment, in form of a partnership, in form of a business deal that's going to be working out in your favor. You know, some of you have fixed the issues from the past because you wanted the newness, all right? You wanted things to be more positive. You wanted things to go more into some other direction apart from, you know, overthinking, apart from being a drama queen, you know, being all up in your head. I do feel like you were liberating yourselves from a lot of things here. And with the world card here, yes, this is the closure of old cycles, the closure of old mentalities. You know, I do feel like big changes happened here, Gemini. Very positive though. And with the two of cups, some of you have maybe even met a soulmate or somebody that you recently hooked up with. And you're all up in the clouds. But these are major changes. These are major endings. If you haven't been offered a new relationship yet with the Ace of Cups, you're about to be, okay? Something's about to come in here, manifest, it's going to bring you a lot of joy, all right? That's what I'm kind of like, first thing I'm picking up on. All right, now let's see, what's the theme of the month here? For Gemini. Eight of Swords. I was just talking about being trapped in your own head, okay? Eight of Swords. Your mind, in the month of June, all right, this happiness is good, this happiness is great, but since you are an air sign, all right, I am getting here that there's going to be a lot of overthinking involved, there's going to be a lot of questioning this happiness, questioning this stability, it's like, mm, you know, I'm not really sure if this is my thing, I'm not really sure if the universe is just messing with me or this is the reality of things. With the Eight of Swords here, don't don't fall this is a trap all right this is the trap that that you're doing to yourself here you're with you're closing the old why would you why would you torment yourself back with these beautiful energies here you wanted positive things to manifest and you had to close the cycles now you're in the mood of ten of pentacles energy you're now ready for the ace of cups if you recently been single but you are now ready to manifest what you thought you couldn't if you know what i mean Eight Nami. And you know, the thing is here with the theme of the month being Eight of Swords, this is like a karmic thing. You know, allowing this past energy to come back around, allowing the past energy to mess with your head. Because maybe you got burned in the past, maybe something didn't pan out in the past. I don't know. Now let's take a look here. What's coming in? Okay, we have falseness teeth and the visit and the gift yes of course i that's what i thought there is a snake around okay could be an aries somebody who's secretly jealous of what you got but in like an unhealthy way but they're showing as a friend here and this is the person who constantly needs a confidence boost. This is a person who always needs like an applause from others. Uh, if you gained recently good, good finances, no, if you recently fought for financial welfare or welfare, what's with my English today? You know, if you fought for financial abundance and it came through, 
there is somebody around here with falseness, all right? There is somebody around here that does not really mean things well. There's jealous energy. This one was my energy is that this one is in the reverse. This is a very insecure person who constantly needs affirmations of others. Could be female, male, doesn't matter. Aries, strong Aries. And with the moon card here, this is secrets. This is deception as well. And with the falseness here, very obvious, all right? Somebody is jealous of what you have. The thing is here, this wouldn't be relevant for me to bring it up unless this card popped out, the thief. So I do feel like somebody's going to try to take it away from you. Maybe somebody's going to try to steal things from you materially as well. This can be also, you know, um, uh, theft of ideas. It doesn't always have to be a material thing. It depends what this Ten of Pentacles represents for you. But I am seeing somebody trying to take something away from you. But let's look into it. We have the Hermit. The Nine of Cups. Yeah. Somebody who's very lonely. Could be a Virgo as well. All right. The Hermit, the Nine of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. Somebody is going to try to take away the happiness. For the others of you, you know, there is, there is, maybe there was a third party in the past. And you and your partner kind of made like a um, agreement here forgive and forget type of situation so you're kind of like chilling now and it's all good but there is still somebody here that was involved possibly a friend all right a virgo or an aries i do feel like you already know about this who this is you're already aware of this energy but somebody wants what you have emotionally, all right? Because they're lonely. They're lonely as fuck. They want, they want what you want. They want what you have, I'm sorry. So really this month around, pay attention to who, who you allow in your home and who you allow in your energy, all right? Because Gemini, this energy that you're carrying right now seems awesome. And the Eight of Swords here, you know, this is like, Self-doubt as well for me, you know, it's not just uh, being trapped in your own head. It's not just, you know, not really doing what can you, you, you know, not really knowing what you, can you do, you cannot do. I am getting here. This is a serious jealous energy. Whether this is finances or love, I don't care, all right? Somebody wants a little bit of your sunshine, all right? They, they want to steal your lightning as well. Lightning? Is that what you say? Steal? No, steal your light? I don't know. You know the expression in English. And there, yes, with the world and the visit, somebody from the past could be coming back around also for some of you. For the others of you, there is somebody coming in to see you from a distance. Maybe a Leo. Ten of Wands. King of Swords. And some friends could be Sagittarius, could be Cancer, anyone really. Somebody's coming in to clear things up. All right, apologize maybe, try to reconcile for some of you. If you've been focused on work and not on love, love is coming back around here. Somebody wants to make things right. They cannot carry this heavy load anymore. Strong Sagittarius energy. Somebody who was emotionally distant in the past, all right? This is the, the energy that I'm getting that wants to come back in. But really be careful of this falseness and the teeth. Could be a female. Two females here, water and, and fire, that I don't like. Mother, maybe even. You know, I, I don't know why I'm getting this. But like really, really, I don't like this energy, okay? <laughs> this can be also a friend coming back around. Right? It doesn't have to be a romantic partner. It could be a father. Some of you could be reconciling with your father. King of Swords for me is the dad. Somebody wants to make things right with the temperance, all right? That's the, I do get that their, their, their um, intentions are pure. All right, so whoever comes in to, to um, kind of fix things, repair things in an honest way, they're the one who mean well. But the one who's, who, who is all about... They're like praising you. Yes, I am getting here. But they're not. Mm -mm. They don't mean well. 
like the one who pretends to be like too good to be true and too nice to be true they don't mean shit all right they just mean to fuck around also for some of you you could be uh focusing a lot on your intuition throughout the month of june also could be manifesting a lot financially traveling i am seeing also travel but i'm more seeing people coming towards you than you going towards them all right because visit usually means that you are going to have a visit you're going to have a guest here and this eight of swords you know it can be either with the past or it can either be with this person who's trying to mess around with the eight of swords so eight of swords is going to be like you know do they mean well do they not mean well could be libra gemini aquarius especially okay but this is your energy eight of swords this is your energy and this is you not knowing you know which path to go should you cut them off should you not cut them off should you forgive this person should you not does this false person is this who i think it is or is it not the thing is here don't overthink it all right just allow things to go with the flow but be careful remain you know like keep this level of caution caution yes level of caution stay grounded and don't doubt this ace of cups all right even if you're single still i do feel like you got offered here an opportunity from the universe maybe not with anyone else maybe just with yourself Re revitalizing your energy getting yourself back on track with the ace of cups here i do see fears here you know this is not really you know i i feel like you're gonna be like no man like this is too good to be true this can't be happening you know this promotion this relationship <clears throat> and this is all coming from the eight of swords Two of Pentacles. This is your typical indecisiveness as a Gemini. Yes. So in your fierce position here, you're scared that your ships have finally come in. You're scared that this is the the, the opportunity that you've been looking for. This is fear of jumping into this newness with the Empress here. This is the fear also of taking the power back over your life, taking control back over your life. That's what I'm getting here, mainly for Gemini's, all right? What else I'm seeing is that and these two of pentacles at the bottom, I don't want to see this. This indecisiveness, juggling too many things at once. I do feel like this is going to be a busy month, guys, especially when it comes to human relations. Resolving things from the past new things are going to be great but the thing is that there is somebody around that you need to be careful of they're emotionally draining you and this is the person that you need to close the door to and then we have this temperance here this is somebody who wants to make things right here it's going to be a healthy closure whatever you do here all right because i do see the two people are going to be interacting but i don't see fights and arguments i just see closure and the empress is also here you know the fear of cutting off this bitch or male bitch i don't know how dog but don't be afraid of these newness these opportunities that come along a lot of opportunities are coming in a lot of happiness is coming in but you know there's the thing don't allow your head to overpower your thoughts your overthinking to overpower um what's happening because what's happening looks good and you know you is a uh, most similar zodiac to virgo guys i got you i know exactly how you feel we have king of cups emotional maturity comes in cancer possibly for some of you if you're looking for love king of cups is about for me all right learning your karmic lessons emotionally growing out of situations letting things go with the flow also i am getting here if you're single and looking for love and this person that comes in is very handsome and they're in resonance with your energy we're going to take a look into love now but <clears throat> what you wanted emotionally is coming in whether this is work or love 
or healing, it's coming in, okay? Because you learned your lesson, you learn how to grow out of things, you learn how to let things go. You over, you're going to overcome the Eight of Swords with the King of Cups energy, all right? There is something here that needs to be worked out so that you can let it go, so that you can expand and grow, all right? Now, I'm going to take an Oracle. This is Mystical Shaman Oracle. Actually, by the way, my new favorite... For Gemini, please, for June, what is the overall guidance? This one wanted to pop out. A beauty way wanted to pop out that has also Lotus flower here. Lotus is the flower of purity. And as well as, you know, um, I, I look at Lotus like a flower of purity, joy, um, rareness as well. I don't know why I'm getting rareness, but this is kind of like my thing. I have my own symbolism. Okay, so we have uh, the Time Master. This is it, okay? Closing the doors to things, the doors, the door to the past things, past energies that are no longer working with you. And also learning how to pick up the lessons from the past in order for you to be stronger, in order for you to, you know, maneuver the karmic energies that you were working with before, if you know what I mean. So it says here, Okay. Sometimes it appears that you're running out of time. You worry you won't get what you need or want. Everything gets stuck like a log jam. This is only in your mind, eight of swords. Time expands and contracts according to your ability to be mindful and observant. All right? Um, fully engaged in your now is it's time to release the story of your past that's the world that I was telling you about equally it is time to release your need to know the details of the future exactly all right this is this is what overthinking gives you all right and planning ahead too much uh, without reality you know it's different when you have like a plan to purchase a home it's different when you have a plan to travel but this is like making 10 year uh, plans and they're not gonna work because the universe works in mysterious ways and you never know how things are gonna play out right and then it says here all the treasure magic magically reveals itself and you remain relaxed and present to what is directly in front of you and nothing else then you will realize you have all the time in the world you will never run out of it that's the king of God He's patient, all right? So now let's take a look into love real quick for June. I'm just gonna do like an overview thing here. I'm going to be using Monero Tarot. So those of you who have problems with graphics, so gonna do three cards for couples three cards for singles all right actually no three one and then one oracle I'm sorry they told me no to three Gemini singles and Gemini couples both got nine of cups at the bottom Singles, page of cups, couples, eight of cups. Okay. Singles, what up? <laughs> and you love and the nine of cups. Somebody's coming in, they're coming in big time, all right? Somebody wants to win you over here. You see this guy, he's carrying the girl. He's going for what he wants, he's going for what he needs. Doesn't give a shit, you know? He, somebody is about to win you over here. He says, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings that's it new love coming in for singles for couples we have eight of cups and the children could be dealing with a pisces okay a water sign coming in overall water sign energy is all i'm getting pisces especially for couples you could be dealing with a pisces here there was a karmic lesson to be learned somebody was childish somebody uh, is going to be childish throughout the whole month and you need to teach this person how to kind of like grow out of their bullshit 
Also, I'm seeing here, some of you are avoiding to discuss about having children with your partner. Maybe you don't want kids and they want kids or you, you want kids and they don't. I don't know. I'm getting here mixed energy in terms of what you want and what they want. And like somebody is avoiding something here, all right, with these arrows. P possibly children. Your love life is being affected by children. You know, some of you are not really into wanting a pregnancy or you're not really into... You're not feeling ready, all right? But with the King of Cups, I do feel like around the end of the month, you know, it's going to start shifting. And you're going to start realizing if this is what you want, what you don't want. If you don't want it, you're going to walk away from it, all right? But whatever it is, I am getting that the partner is going to be uh, coming, you know, to the same... They're, you're going to be on the same page by the end of the day because of the Nine of Cups here. So that's it, basically. A lot of emotional things happening for Gemini's, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.